What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-42118-6. So this is happening on the latest PlayStation 4 update 9.6, and a lot of people started messaging me like, yo, we're getting this error, how do I fix this? So I'm going to basically show you in this video how to, what to do and how to fix this error. So let's get right into this. So first to show you that the update is here, I was able to like install it, uh, as you can see over here, and I want to kind of show you what you can do to essentially fix this error. So if for whatever reason, when you are trying to install this update, uh, update that's been happening and it's been basically not working for you if you haven't installed it yet and it's kind of like pending i would urge you to like pause the update delete it from your menu basically clicking into options and just deleting it and then trying the method that i'm about to show you now on how to install it because that is the preferred method and most of the times if not all of the times that would be what you should be doing to resolve these issues so what you want to do is you want to completely turn off your playstation 4 so you don't want to put into mess room you want to completely turn it off and as you can see right now I'm turning off this error. Oh, uh, sorry. I hope I was turning off the error. I'm turning off the PlayStation 4. Because what we're going to do next is we are actually going to enter into safe mode in your in our PlayStation 4. And we're going to do the update from there instead. So once your PlayStation 4 is completely turned off and you don't see that white light, I know you can't see it, but on the side flashing anymore, it's completely turned off. We're going to hold on to the power button for about 5 to 8 seconds. So it's turned off. So 5 to 8 seconds. It's technically two beeps. My PlayStation 4 is literally on its last breath, so you don't really hear anything. So I instinctively kind of like guess when that happens, and I let go, <laughs> and we will enter safe mode shortly. Hopefully we do. All right, great. So as you can see, we are now in safe mode. As you can see, it says connect the DualShock 4 using a USB cable. So you do need a USB cable plugged in. If you don't have an authentic one, I will leave it in the description below. So as you can see, I'm plugged in. You can see it's charging because this is the only way you can navigate inside of it. Uh, you can't use the analog stick. You need to use the D-pad, just an FYI. So I'm just going to pull it down so it doesn't blur out. But so now you can see what you need to do. So I'm going to kind of show you step by step on what to do. First and foremost, always try to rebuild your data database first because this will most likely prevent any possible issues or errors happening so you always want to kind of go down that route first okay so next what you want to do is once you kind of go through that step you want to go to option number three and you want to do option number three again within that so interestingly enough if you notice I'm actually updated as I showed you to 9.6 it's gonna pop up again and say hey do you want to do 9.6 so you can always redo it again if you were already having issues with the update that already occurred, right? So it's kind of like a clean re-update, re per se, if you want to call it, or reinstall without really deleting anything that happens uh, in your console. So it might get, take some time to like kind of load up, as you can see over here. Uh, PlayStation servers in general have been bugging out and lagging, hence why people have been getting a lot of the errors, and hence why this happens a lot of the time. So you can even see like it literally timed out. So let's give it another shot try to get to that maybe i'll make another video on how to like resolve that <laughs> error in general happening uh regardless even if it doesn't pop up uh you want to kind of try this option first or so after the rebuilding the base you want to try this option and if for whatever reason you try that and your error still persists what you want to do is it kind of sucks this it doesn't happen uh, what you want to do is you want to try update from USB storage device so this is you downloading the update from Sony itself so from directly from PlayStation website on a USB device and putting it in your console so I have a video on how to do this I kind of go into depth on how to do that I'll leave it in the description or in the comments below for you guys to kind of check out to give it a shot now if for whatever reason that also fails the, your last resort is option six and seven. Six is going to just re delete everything off of your console and you're not going to have anything left on it. And you don't want to really do that because it's going to delete the users, the data, the games. It, it's not preferred. And seven is essentially the same thing, except you're doing it from a USB device. So that's how you're going to do it. So it's, I have another video on this as well. This is your final, final method where you download the actual reinstallation file from Sony's direct website. You put it in a USB device, you plug it into the console, you do this, it takes a little while, but boom, you do it. And it kind of like reformats your whole console. But again, you're gonna delete your users, your, your your name, your data, all that stuff. Yeah, your trophies will stay, but again, your save files, if they're not backed up to the cloud or anything, they're all gonna get deleted, which kind of sucks. So I always recommend to like have a backup in general always before these updates even begin, right? So that's gonna be like your final preferred method. So give number three a shot. If, you're do or, if you are getting that error that I 
was getting right now uh, about the error. Let me know in that in the comments. I'll try to like figure out why. Because I, I think for me, my internet is just bugging out. <laughs> so it should be because of that. But regardless, uh, you should be able to kind of do it from here. You guys should be good to go and not have that error persist any longer. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, just let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to make guys that. If you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button. Uh -huh. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, mug me out. Peace.